Hey guys, and welcome back. Today we've got two boxes from Shop Goodwill to unbox. And this one right here, there's two dolls. One is my literal dream doll. Like, I found her on Shop Goodwill with another doll. And I'm like, not only am I going to get my own dream doll to keep, but I also have another doll that I get to customize. And then this one is one my mom surprised me with. I do know what doll is in there though because she also bought it off of Shop Goodwill and I was trying to see where this one was, like how the shipping was and stuff and I accidentally saw this one. But they both came today and so we're gonna open them up. We're gonna open up this one first because I've already cut it open but I have not opened it yet. I cannot see what is on the inside so let's open it up and before we open it guess which two dolls are in here I'll give you a hint one is a American Girl doll of the year and the other is just like a regular historical doll all right I'm gonna give you guys three seconds to leave a comment down below and guess which two dolls it is three two one okay let's open it up ooh that's a styrofoam Oh, I can see the first one. I came with the original outfit. I can't even believe it, though she is missing a shoe. Oh, they didn't wrap her at all. They just put her in styrofoam. Oof. Oh, boy. Oh, my goodness. All right. Let me get her out of here. Oh, she has her ears pierced. I didn't even notice that. All right, as you can guys see, the first doll is Kanani. Does she have both earrings? Oh, she does, that's pretty cool. She's in pretty good condition. Um, doesn't look like she has any stains. What is that? Some kind of tag. Yeah, she doesn't have any stains though. Her limbs are pretty loose. She's super pretty. I was wondering what color her eyes are. It looks like they're like Felicity kind of hazel. Except I feel like they're a little less green maybe? I don't know, I'm sorry. I feel like I keep taking the camera off her face because I'm like looking at her and then I get distracted. Oh, I can't wait to take her hair out of this braid. Oh, and it came with a little, um, flower. I don't know where that goes in her original hairstyle. I'll have to look it up. But yeah, she's only got one shoe, which is fine. I was just really happy it came with her original dress and she's in such good condition. Like really, she just needs a limb tightening and a good clean and to fix up her hair a little. All right, and this next one, it comes with her original uh, like Pleasant Company outfit. So she's probably a Pleasant Company doll which is pretty darn cool. And it has her braid and everything. She, she isn't white bodied. Her limbs are also very loose. It's Julie. Looks like she still has her original braid in, which is pretty nice. It looks pretty good. Her hair, she's in pretty good condition. All things considered. Let's see what year's on her tag. She is 2013. Yeah, she's a 2013 doll. But I don't. When did they do the rebrand? Oh, I think the rebrand was like 2014. So let's see. Is she Pleasant Company or is she American Girl doll? I think she's American Girl doll. If yeah, it says American Girl doll, my camera won't focus. So she is American Girl doll, but she does come with her original me outfit. So I think it might be missing pants. I don't know, maybe it's a dress. I'm not entirely sure. All right, and she's got blue shoes, so look at them. So Kanani, I will be keeping, like I said earlier, and Julie, I will customize her and sell her on my Etsy. So I'm gonna open up the other box and then show you guys what's on the inside. And this other doll that my mom surprised me with, we're gonna be keeping her but we're gonna fix her up like Kanani, so yeah. All right, so this next one might be harder to open because it is 
open from the top. This doll is super rare. I'll give you guys a couple seconds to guess what she is. She's, oh, she's so rare. And it's amazing that my mom was able to get her. Um, they did pack her up a little nicer. She was a little expensive for Shop to Dwell because, like I've said multiple times, she is rare. And even Kanai. Alright. Let me see if I can get her unbubble wrapped from here with just one hand. Alright. Alright, you can see that she is a Kirsten doll, but that is not what makes well, Kirsten's in general are pretty rare. She's got this little hand knit hat and outfit. Or actually this green dress is Molly's original like holiday dress, but they put it on her backwards. <laughs> so the buttons are supposed to go in the front. Wait, hey, but there's no buttons. So did the buttons fall off? Interesting. Well, there's supposed to be buttons in the front. But they're not buttons in the back either. Interesting. But what makes this Kirsten so special is that oh, her eye is little. Oh. Sorry, I'm looking at her eye because it was struggling to open there. She almost. Looks like she has a bit of silver eye, which is actually pretty cool. But by that, you can probably tell that she is a white-bodied American Girl doll. Like, no way. Like, we were able to get her. Oh, she has little, like, crocheted shoes. I never noticed that. Anyways, I'm getting distracted. She is a white-bodied American Girl doll. So cool I'm trying to tell does she have a bit of silver eye on the outside of her eye maybe that's just originally how they were made but it does look a little bit silver you can especially see it with her left eye Let's see if I can get it to focus focus sesame <laughs> it won't focus I can't lay her down Please focus camera. Oh my goodness, this is a struggle, guys. Let me try to, okay. Slowly, slowly. Come on, man. Oh wait, I had it. Well, I'll do it from about here. Hopefully you guys can see it, but you can see it looks a little gray on the outside of her eyes. Her nose is pretty cute. You can definitely tell that her mold's different than the regular classic molds. Her nose is a little more differently shaped. And then on the back, my mom actually did the research to figure out. She has the, not just the Pleasant Company, but my mom figured out because she was trying to figure out if she was the from like, I can't even name, it's like 68 or something, I don't know. But her Pleasant Company on the back is curved. See how it goes zoop and it doesn't just go straight across? So she was maybe made from like the first year of production. Also she's white bodied and there was supposed to be something about how her teeth were drawn that's supposed to be able to tell. I don't know, it kind of looks the same to me. But her mold is definitely different. Oh, look at her eyebrows. That's pretty cool. Uh, I can't wait to rinse her off. And her eyelashes are so long. I can't believe it. She has a bit of silver eye. Like, it's not fully silver, but the outsides definitely look a little more silver. I don't know what happened to this dress. Why it doesn't have any buttons on it. Oh, something came off. Where this came from? Alright guys, so 
I'm gonna put them together now. So the dolls that we that I got <laughs> are a white-bodied Kirsten doll, Julie, and a Kanani doll. I will be keeping both the Kirsten doll and the Kanani doll, but I will be fixing up Julie so that she can be customized. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!